What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be back to work on the Corvette C8. As you guys see in the previous episode, we went ahead and got all the parts all nice and sanded and pretty much all we're waiting on is for my brothers to give me the go ahead to bring all the parts over because the paint booth is a little bit busy right now and we're just gonna have to wait on that. But we were gonna drive this car in the last episode. Unfortunately, it was raining really bad outside, but check it out, it's nice and sunny out there. And I think it's time to give this thing a test drive. Me and Jake did a lot of work on this car and we're almost done. Pretty much all we have to do is paint it and reassemble everything and she's gonna be good to go. But we did get the wheels on in the last video and we also went ahead and slapped on some, well, I think we poured in some transmission fluid. And now we're gonna give this thing a little test drive, see how she drives, make sure everything is good. I know it will need a pretty good alignment because these Corvettes, Whenever you replace like a suspension component, there's so much adjustment in the control arm, which is kind of nice, you know, because you can just adjust it perfectly straight. And we'll probably have to take this thing to the dealership because I know these cars are really hard to align, especially like, let me just show you how much adjustment there is in a Corvette uh, suspension. As you can see right there, that right there is an adjuster and all eight bolts on the control arms have those adjusters. So you'll probably have to take this thing to the dealer, but I want to just go ahead and drive this thing, you know, just see if it can at least make it outside. All right, Jake, go ahead and crank it up and let's give this thing a little test drive. Dude, look at the interior, man. I love the red. We also clean this sucker up. Dude, this interior just looks so nice with the symbol. Dude, I love how the screen turns on. Yeah, check that out. Dang. Dude, that is freaking sweet. So let's crank it up and let's... Ain't got no AC just yet. We are gonna have to fill it up with some Freon. Yeah. Wait, is the hood open? Is that probably why it won't go on the drive? Let me close the hood. Yeah, pop that hood Oh yeah. Let's just make sure everything will clear over here. Yeah. Oh, sweet. First drive. Man, these brakes are sensitive. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me check the rear view. Yeah. Dude, this thing is sick. Especially with, like, the T-top. Look at that Corvette right there on the trailer. <laughs> Bro, where are we driving this thing? I don't know, man. <laughs> nah, it's a little bit dangerous. You want to just park it right here? Yeah, let's park it right here. Dude, I'm going to shut it off. Something's smoking back here. We might have spilled some stuff on intake manifolds or something. Or the exhaust manifolds. But I think everything is good to go. But dude, check this thing out. Finally, dude, this thing is rolling around. Oh, yeah, got to lock it up. Make sure nobody gets in it. <laughs> Dang, this thing looks good out in the sun, man. I can't wait to get this thing painted all out, get it all reassembled. Dude, it's gonna be a fun little car. So we did a little bit of a test drive on the C8 and it made it like 30, 40 feet. So now we know that this thing is all good to go. Uh, once we get everything back together, obviously we will do a better test drive. Uh, we really just wanted to make sure everything rolls good. We didn't hear no crazy noises from the transmission. Now we're gonna go ahead and start packing up all the parts. We did also go ahead and go over everything with a nice red scuff pad because all these parts are gonna be getting sealed. We sanded all the parts up. Everything is looking good. There's the door. We have the rocker panel right here. And we did, have, we did go ahead and throw another coat of primer on here. We blocked it out, threw another coat of primer and we're gonna have to wait for that to dry, just sand it out. We just wanted to do a little bit of extra work on it just to make it 100% perfect. So let's go ahead and start loading up all these parts into the cars and we're gonna head over to 23rd Garage and get everything set up in the paint booth. So we just made it to 23rd Garage and I gotta give you guys a little update on their LS M3 build. Yo, what's going on, bro? What's up? Oh, not much. We just brought some Corvette parts to get painted, but dude, oh, yeah. this thing is looking good. What are you working on right now? I just got the power steering all hooked up. I built a custom bracket for the reservoir. Dude, that looks clean. Nice and solid. Got all the lines ran, got them all hooked up. Get some like cable management, you know, some of those little clamps or yeah. maybe just some zip ties. Well, you, you can get some clamps that will like, you need to hold it up in the air probably so it doesn't, you know, get cut right yeah, there. Yeah, I've, I've kind of, I've got everything hovering. I've got this one. Everything's kind of hovering. Nothing's touching. Dude, that looks freaking awesome. Oh, and you got the steering done. Because you remember, guys, we, we came over here with the HCP welder. And I did a little couple of tack welds. But I think he welded it with 
the other welder because I, I did uh, we tacked it you tacked it for me and then when I took it off uh, I went ahead and uh, TIG welded it all dude that looks freaking incredible because these cars do come with the electric steering and they want to go with power steering because dude look at that LS engine dude it's looking better and better every day except this little bird's nest that you got going on here with some spaghetti noodles but... oh, don't look at that that's just you know that's just by uh, what's it called uh, it's just collateral, a collateral damage. damage collateral damage uh, Nate's going to wrap all that up. That basically is just your headlight wiring and... Uh, oh, the ground. The ground. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to have all that tucked. Usually, it runs all through here, but now it's just going to run all up under there. Heck and yeah. then we'll have this. Oh, is that the... the... Expansion tape. Oh, no. So, same type of bracket getting built on this side. And then uh, we'll put the oil catch can. I think this was actually Ben's idea. Up yep, here. Right Either there. there or like somewhere right here. Yeah, well, you do want it to drain. Oh, it has a little fitting for a tube, don't it? Yep, yeah. we're going to connect it. That way we can drain it right out that hole right there. Yep, and then fill it right back up. Dude, this thing is looking sick. So what's the ETA on getting this thing on the road? That's what I want to know. I mean, hopefully if everything goes good in the next couple of weeks. Heck yeah, dude, this is going to be sick. And they got the steering all set up, dude. Look at those tie rods. Yep. Bam. Steering wheel straight, wheels are straight. Perfect. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Ready to go. Heck yeah. And Nate's, uh, Nate's got the... He's oh, he's the, installing the holly inside the holly. here. He's got the holly mounted to the bottom here. So it's going to sit just Dang. like that up underneath the dash. That's sweet. Nice and solid. Heck Super yeah. nice. Everything everything is going to be bolted on. Everything's going to be tucked, wired, zipped, tied. And perfect. Ready around. to go. You know, legit. Go down the road. Speed car. Yeah, now after they get this one running, we are going to bring my Mustang actually over here. And they're going to do all the wiring and basically do everything they did on this car because i think it's just gonna be nice for you know they can do they can make some videos on it and i can just focus on other projects that I have going on right now so definitely stay tuned for that and check out their channel it's linked down below 23rd garage you know just a little update on the ls m3 now we need to head to the paint booth and start setting up all those corvette parts so we got all the parts over here there's the rocker panel the bumper the door and actually the front bumper right there. We did already hang up the fender and check out some of the parts that Paul actually just painted recently. Dude, that looks freaking good. Look at that. Uh, uh, let's go over here somewhere. Dude, we're just gonna slick that in. Let's go ahead. And here is the fenders right here. And we just gotta remove some of these parts right here. Paul just slicked this in. Dude, look at that. That's literally perfect. Somebody's over here doing an angry grill on a Jeep JK, but we're gonna go ahead and remove all these parts and go ahead and set up all the Corvette parts in here, get them all wiped down and get them ready for some painting. parts set up in the paint booth here we have the rear bumper the front bumper and then we also went ahead and hung up the quarter panel just so it'd be a lot easier to get up all in all the cracks and everything like that i'm not sure if this is how we're going to paint everything we're gonna have to let my brother paul decide on the final area of everything because you know whenever you're painting something you got to be careful where you place stuff so you're not kind of just like uh, running into stuff in the booth but here we have the rocker unfortunately we didn't have enough space for the uh door or the trunk lid so i think we'll paint that separately I think this is a pretty flat white. And I think if we throw an even coat of paint on everything, everything's gonna match up nicely. Now what we need to do is we have to sand this up a little bit right here. We have to throw a little bit of primer. There's a little bit of a scratch right there, but we're gonna go ahead and sand that up and also clean all these parts really nice. Get them all degreased, make sure they're perfectly clean and ready to spray.
So we got all the parts all nice and clean, and that's where today's video sponsor comes in, Car Quest. As you guys know, we fix a lot of cars here at the shop, and we always need paint and automotive supplies. So we always head over to Car Quest to pick it up. Let's head over there and get all the paint and all the products necessary to get this car painted in. So we just made it back to the shop and here's everything we are going to be using to get this car painted in back to OEM spec. We have some Sickens sealer and then some Sickens base coat and some awesome clear coat right here. Also got some tack rags. Paul is going to paint this thing in and I think he's going to do an amazing job. As you guys seen, those Jeep parts turned out freaking mint and that was a black color. Those parts are pretty hard to paint. Let's get the sealer all mixed up and get these parts sprayed in. check it out we got everything sprayed in with some white sealer paul did an amazing job dude the sealer just looks almost perfect uh we did have a little bit of a problem right here which shows like a pinhole in the factory door we kind of just never seen it because the whole door was black and the pinhole was black but after we sprayed some sealer on it we could see it so we went ahead and used a little bit of a red putty puttied it up sanded it out and now it's about to be ready for some uh, white base coat it's crazy this sealer looks almost identical to the paint we are going to be spraying on this car, but everything is coated in real good. So we're gonna let this dry a little bit more and then pause it to come in here and throw the base coat down. So Paul went ahead and laid down all the base coat. It's pretty crazy from the sewer to the base coat. You can't really tell much of a difference, but all the panels are nice and coated. And now we're just gonna let this dry up and then we can throw on some clear coat and all the parts will be painted. But unfortunately we didn't have any space in here for the deck lid, but we will go ahead and paint that later after we get all these parts clear coated. But man, I gotta say it's turning out awesome. I can't wait to get all this onto the car get everything glued on and get that thing on the road. So after all this dries, we're gonna go in here and throw some clear coat and everything will be done.
got Paul got all these parts nice and slicked in. And I gotta say, this white actually looks super cool. Yo, bro, thank you so much for slicking it in. He always does an amazing job on all these parts right here. And I'm super glad we did get this door inside because we were kind of thinking about just leaving it out and painting it later. But it's good that we got the basically the entire side slicked in. And man, dude, this is gonna be so awesome just to slap it back together. It's gonna need a lot of panel bond and a little bit of urethane glue. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, look at that, dude. I hope that, I'm pretty sure it's gonna match really nicely with the uh, driver's side fender. If it doesn't, we'll have to do a little bit of a blend, which we have a lot of paint. You don't have a panel on the car? No. Oh, we actually do. Do we? Yeah, we have that little uh, A-pillar at. Oh, we do, yeah. Yeah, it's in, a, yeah, go get that A-pillar. We actually brought one of the A-pillars. We were thinking about painting it. But honestly, dude, it's, a, it's like a solid white, you know? It's kind of like Alpine white. No, we painted my McLaren with, it's like very, what has the most different color, uh, variants? Yeah, but it looks, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's gonna match it. No, cause like I know on Alpine white, like you can paint any panel and it pretty much matches all the time. Cause it's, as long as it's like not too yellow or too, too white, which I mean, it, it looks pretty good. I mean, worst case scenario, blend the other door. Yeah, we did get a lot of paint for this car. And I mean, the entire side is gonna match perfectly because these are, like, you got the quarter panel, rocker, and then fender. And then Jake's bringing in a piece of the A pillar. And let's see how it matches up. Dude, that matches oh, yeah. perfectly. Look at that, you can't even tell the difference. It's gonna, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's like a solid white, you know? Yeah, once you polish it up a little bit, buff it out a little bit, you know, it's gonna be perfect. Well, we were thinking about painting that, but there was no damage on it. I thought it was like scratched up. But I mean, we, we did get a lot of paint. We got enough clear coat, but big shout out to Paul for painting everything in. And now we basically just have to let this all dry up. I'll just be waiting on that check. Yes, sir. We're gonna have to give Paul a big bonus, Mail you know? <laughs> mail it. We're gonna give it in person. <laughs> we'll, mail, we'll mail him a check about $1 million, but dude, it looks freaking awesome. We're gonna have to let this probably dry up for a couple of days. I am actually flying to Chicago tomorrow because I'm going to a event with HTP. We're gonna be actually doing some cool stuff with the new welder that's coming out. So that's gonna be nice because we can just let everything sit and we won't have any issues with like the paint bubbling up right here, especially on all these bolt holes right there. Plus we're gonna have to apply a lot of pressure to this area right here whenever we're gluing it on because it does just glue on and then you gotta just like hold it under the car, hold it in place. But man, I gotta say everything looks good. Even the back of the door got a nice coat of paint everywhere. Dude, that's gonna be so fun, just reassembling this car. Just slapping all the new pieces on. We can get the entire front end back together perfectly, dude. I, I, I'm, I can't wait. Dude, I'm excited, bro. Oh yeah, dude. I, that's the coolest thing is when you got all these nice white parts, you can just start putting all this stuff back on, clipping it together, putting all the door handles on, and the rear bumper looks freaking sick. Oh yeah, dude, put the license plate on, dude. I can't freaking wait. Dude, I actually love this white a lot. Like, know, it's, it's it, it reminds me of Alpine white so bad, dude. It's like, it's just like a flat white. There's no pearls in it. There's no uh, like yellowish to it or anything like that. So guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoy that the Corvette is finally all painted and except for one last piece right here, but they're gonna take care of it on 23rd Garage. So definitely check out their YouTube channel. They are gonna be taking possession of my 65 Mustang here soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. But anyways, if y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also follow us on Instagram at VTune. Thanks for watching.